Welcome back to Map Making in Silvernell, where I make a battle map from within my homebrewed fantasy world of Silvernell. Today, I'll design a wizard's tower on Liberation Island. I'll be using the program Incarnate for this build with music by Tabletop Audio. You can also find the links to this free map in the description below, one with a grid and one without. Let's begin. So for this map, I want to show six floors of a circular tower. So I'm going to start with the first floor, and I'll begin by using a heavy stone wall. I want to get this as circular as I can, so after I've dropped a few assets, I'll just copy and paste. Once I complete that, all I have to do is copy and paste that design five more times. Now let's drop a doorway for the entrance. Perfect. Then I'll begin by making some stairs leading up to the next floor. Once again, using a heavy stone. Then after I've got those in place, I'll darken it to show the bottom and the top. After that's complete, all we have to do is once again copy and paste directly onto our other floors. And then for the ground, I'll just use a simple stone design to color in all those floors. Beautiful. Now our players will most likely go in through the front door in this battle map, so I only need to make the ground outside of the tower for the first floor. Behind the other floors, I'll just fill in with a simple black color so it doesn't distract from the design of the map. And then I'll go back and make them a little bit bigger just so there's more playing space for the players. I'll add a cute little path leading up from the front door and just add some shrubs and bushes just to show life outside of the tower. Perfect. Now, for this first floor, I want to make a shop, or something that appears like a shop, where people can come in and request things from the wizard, and he's got a little table set up where he can have discussions of what his customers need. Maybe even a couple tables displaying some potions or some scrolls. Maybe a magic item or a tea set. And then along the wall, I want to include some magic spell books. Maybe this is how he shows what he can make. There we go. Now I want to add some torches and some light to this room, and then darken up those spots away from the light, showing that ombre effect. Now I want to name the floors, so this map is easy to maneuver for my players. I then realized not all of the staircases can be in the same spot, so I had to move them around to get the most realistic ascension onto higher floors. And then I want to add the entrance to each floor, slowly darkening the bottom of the steps to show it goes deeper. Now that I've added all the entryways, I'm going to go back and darken up a little bit. And I want to give these steps some railings so nobody falls over, especially an old wizard. Perfect. For the second floor, I decided I'm going to make a magic room where the wizard can write out spell books, write out scrolls, and work on potions. Maybe he's got magic items that are cursed and require attunement. So I'm really going to fill the space with little knickknacks. When making these maps, as I drop assets on, I'm thinking of their story. These items could hold powerful genies, uh, cursed demons inside. Maybe items that really shouldn't even be touched. Now 
for the third floor, I'm just going to make a simple bathroom. I'm going to place some walls to give it some privacy, creating sort of a hallway, and then add a tub and a sink and a toilet. And then in that hallway, maybe some decoration just to look at as you're passing floors. Beautiful. Moving on to the fourth floor, I want to create a robust library where the wizard can relax and catch up on all the lore he's stored away. Perhaps he writes himself, documenting the events of the world and the magical spells he has encountered. A wizard is only as good as his spellbook. There we go. That's starting to look cozy. On the fifth floor, I'm placing a teleportation circle. This way, no matter where our wizard wanders off to, he can always recite a spell and return to his home via this circle. So I definitely want to add a bunch of light and some candles, create a magical look to this floor. On the sixth floor, the highest floor, I want to give the wizard a giant telescope so he can marvel at the stars and integrate astrology into his magical experiments. But I also need a place for him to sleep, so I'll drop in a bed and another working station for those late nights, you know, when he wakes up with a magical idea. I also don't want him to get lonely, so I think I'm going to drop a little pet turtle. <laughs> Perfect. A couple more assets and some torches and light, and this map is looking pretty complete. And there you have it, a wizard's tower with a first floor shop, a second floor workshop, a third floor bathroom, a fourth floor library, a fifth floor teleportation room and a sixth floor bedroom and observatory. If you've enjoyed watching this process, consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more great map building content. And don't forget the links to this map and one with a battle grid are in the description below. Thanks again for watching. See you later.